Speaking to our other big story, another Ebola survivor is out of the hospital. CCTV's Jim Spellman is live in our newsroom with more on the recovery and release of U.S. nurse Amber Vincent. Hey, Mike. Amber Vincent contracted Ebola in Texas while treating Liberian Thomas Eric Duncan, the only person to have died of the disease in the United States. Now she's on her way back home, Ebola free. Two weeks after she was diagnosed with Ebola, nurse Amber Vincent was released Tuesday from a specialized hospital. As a nurse and now as someone who has experienced what it's like to be cared for through a life-threatening illness, I am so appreciative and grateful for your exceptional skill, warmth, and care. The only remaining Ebola patient in the U.S. is Dr. Craig Spencer. He contracted the disease while treating Ebola patients in Africa and remains in serious but stable condition in a New York hospital. Neither Amber Vincent nor Craig Spencer were quarantined after having high-risk contact with Ebola patients. U.S. response to the disease has been inconsistent and at times chaotic. A nurse who treated Ebola patients in Africa was forced on her return into quarantine in this tent at a New Jersey hospital. This is an extreme that is really uh, unacceptable, and I feel like my basic human rights have been violated. After three days with no symptoms, she was released to finish her quarantine at home. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control is trying to create some clarity with a new set of protocols that call for close monitoring of all health care workers returning from West Africa, but only calls for at-home isolation for health care professionals seen to be at the highest risk. It really does a science-based matching of risk with the kind of monitoring and the kind of restriction. And for that reason, I think it's really much, much clearer than what we've seen in the past. Ultimately, individual states can and will determine their own policies, which makes it very difficult for the CDC or any U.S. federal agency to really control the response to the Ebola here in the United States. So, Mike, I think it's going to take a little while before this kind of confusion and chaotic approach is over. All right, Jim Spellman, live from our newsroom. Thank you so much for more.